All right, folks, I'm not happy about this. I uh, was doing my critical mass for September 17, 2012. I can't even, I'm, I'm slurring because I'm in such a food coma. And I hit the wrong button, but it was two minutes in, and I didn't want to delete it to start over, so I put it up there. I'm not going to even tell anybody about it. If you watch it, you watch it. If you don't, then, it, you know, whatever. Just got driven in by my parents, did my laundry at my mom's house, sent me with so much damn food, it's unbelievable. I have a chocolate pudding cake. My father's diabetic, so she makes this chocolate pudding cake, uh, you know, it's fat-free, sugar-free. It's freaking phenomenal. And I'm full right now, but I'm still thinking, you know what, maybe I'll have a little cake for dessert, just a little. And uh, maybe just a little, because I feel, I'm just like, my mouth is like parched from so much sugar in a, and we had brisket tonight. Pa I call it pot roast. I know, if I was more sophisticated, I'd go, yes, we had brisket tonight, but it was amazing. And it's great because it just goes through you and just makes you have the best farts. Really stinky. And uh, Peanut ate my uh, mom's shoe tonight at the uh, dinner. I'm waiting for her to throw up, but she'll wait. Peanut's good like that. She'll wait till 3 o'clock in the morning to puke it all up. So uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully she won't get sick, but I'll be honest with you, I have no freaking clue. So, um, yeah, it was fun. I went home. I had to actually work this morning. Didn't get to go to Temple because uh, I started a new job where we have phone, uh, phone meetings. So I had to do one of those this morning. But I was a good Jew. Went to Temple last night with the family. He did a little uh, something, uh, trying to do a uh, 60 Minutes with Andy Rooney. He tried didn't work for me. I would have loved to have gone up there. I'd love to just have the con congregation in the palm of my freaking hand. Try not to swear tonight because I showed my uh, stand-up video to a friend of the family and it was really raunchy, but she loved it. But I was swearing way too much. I was at bombing like it was no tomorrow. Like they were giving me a dollar every time I said it. And by the end of the, end of the night, I was a freaking millionaire. So um, I'm trying to keep the language at a minimum. Uh, I'm going to go for a walk uh, with Mark Eden and his dog. I haven't decided what I can name. Uh, you know what? I'm going to name uh, his dog uh, Bugsy. What was the name of that Charlotte pork? Bugs, uh, Bugsy Moe. No. Muggsy Bogues. Yep. I'm going over for a walk with uh, Muggsy Bogues, the dog, and Mark Eden. I decided to name the dog Muggsy Bogues. Uh, because I don't, I, have to, I think I've told this story before, but uh, Peanut. What I wanted to name her was Shaka Khan, and uh, I was vetoed by uh, the person that I had gotten the dog for because I thought it was going to help our relationship, and it ends up that now it's just helping me because I love my I love my peas, even though she ate my mom's shoe and she was freaking. We my parents have a dachshund named uh, Maximilian. I called him Maximilian, and um, she freaking jumped on top of this 13-year-old dachshund. dachshund and uh, scared the shit out of it. So she was way out of control. Now she's in the other room, passed out, freaking cold. She could be dead the rest of the night. So I got clean sheets, clean blanket. I'm gonna get some sleep tonight. I have a phone call interview tomorrow, phone call interview tomorrow, I gotta, and I, I can work from home with one of these jobs, so that's kinda good. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. We were talking about movies today, freaking thief. We are talking about just James Conn, Rollerball, which I need to buy. Fuck. Don't wanna swear. I love Rollerball. And what's the character's main name? Jonathan! 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 It's a great name. It rocks. But we're talking about Thief. I got to work out tomorrow morning. Thief, perfect movie to work out to. Perfect movie. So I'll be working out the Thief tomorrow morning. Oh my god, I'm yelling. It's 9.33 at night. But I'm going for a walk with Mark Eden and his dog in a little bit. So, um... Yeah, I feel bad I don't talk to Pop-Tart anymore because we had some good stuff, but uh, I need to shut that down for a while. Um, you know, I, I think it's shut down now for good because uh, he'll, he'll never talk to me again. But, shh, yeah, you know, things happen, you know. Sometimes you talk to people, you don't talk to people, but, uh, oof. And uh, I realize I don't TV right now and I'm missing Monday Night Football with Manning versus the Falcons. I would love to. But I'll tell you the truth. Uh, that's one thing I wanted to talk about this weekend. I didn't, uh, I watched a little bit of TV. I watched the whole Giant game, and I'm a Jets fan. And I got to the Jets game, and I was just, I was a little tired from the first game. So maybe I'm not a true fan. I mean, I, I feel like I'm a true fan, but maybe I just, you know, I hit the wall. I hit the football wall. 
And last night I just watched my shows and I shut it off. Uh, you know, I just, you know, when you don't have it, you don't miss it. So, you know, I mean, I'm, I missed a couple shows, but uh, I'll just miss them, you know. I mean, that's what it's going to be right now. So uh, I'll read more books and I'll survive. That's all I can do. So um, I wanted to tell all of you that I hope you have a great night. Uh, Lashana, Lashana Tova, I always say it wrong. Happy, healthy, prosperous New Year. I think it's 5774, I think you said, or something like that. I'm, I'm horrible with this stuff. Um, but it was good to go home. It's always good to spend time with the family. You know, my parents aren't getting any younger. 50 years married. I don't know if I've ever told anybody that, but 50 years married. And uh, it was very important for me to be home for the holidays, and it was nice to be home. So, you know, I'm a little melancholy right now because, you know, I don't know. It's, it's nice to go home, and you have people you're talking to the whole time, and now you come home to your apartment, and I'm talking to the screen. But uh, that's what Critical Mass is right now. It, uh, you know, I haven't got my own studio or whatever, but I'm working on it. So I can talk and, you know, people call. I would love people to call in. God, would that be awesome. So uh, that's the goal in the future is to get this radio, you know, get it going. And I'm talking to people. People tell me they're critical, what they're critical of. But the masses, what the masses are critical of out there, what's bothering them, what they love, what they hate, whatever. So uh, I'm just going to keep talking. And uh, you keep listening. And uh, if you're interested, let's, uh, you know, there's this Google Plus thing. We could uh, do one together, see what happens, all right? Okay, have a great night. Talk to you soon. Critical Mass out, September 17, 2012. Rush Hashanah. The food coma has set in. Nighty-night. Nighty-night.